Hello, and thank you for joining me again. My name is Melissa Williams, and I am the BBPM Business Coach. I am also a book author, entrepreneur, and I host a weekly television show called The BBPN Show on Channel Access Cable 77 at 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. Today, I wanted to talk to you about flaws in our teaching system. I believe that our teaching system, or our education system, has flaws and the way that we teach people um, that we, you know, our president recently announced that we are very close to a recession, which leads to little economic activity. Um, I've been looking at over stats, and uh, as an entrepreneur, I've been looking for alternative ways to help people in um, the position of, you know, being laid off, losing jobs, um, as far as getting work. And one of the alternatives I've come up with is that, you know, we have programs out here, but they simply focus on one side of the coin. Back in 1980, Jimmy Carter instituted the uh, CETA program. And he, this, this program to help people get nine to five jobs working for uh, the municipalities and the cities. That was a great idea. However, looking on the other side of the coin, on the other side of the equation, we forget something. We forget today that if there are no jobs available, then people can't work. So, uh, you know, if corporations are downsizing, people are getting laid off. So you, you, we have job fairs and we're simply saying, okay, we're gonna help people get jobs. It sounds good. But if you have over a thousand people attending a job fair and there's maybe 10 jobs available, then there's only 10 people that are going to get, uh, get the job. And the best man gets the job, you know, the one with the most skill set. So you have, not only do you have high school students looking for work, you have high school graduates, you have college graduates, you have people that are recently laid off, school teachers all vying for the same positions. And that's not even to mention the scores of veterans that have just been deployed from Iraq and from, from war. And they're all competing for the same position. So what is the problem? The problem is, yes, these people may you know, have all the qualifications for jobs, but if there's nothing available, then it makes no sense. So I'm saying that we need more entrepreneurship programs as well. Programs that help people uh, become, you know, self-starters, uh, employers, training them how to start businesses. Um, I am saying that we need to, you know, I'm challenging our state senators and mayors and people in the political arena to listen and make this a part of your platform. Not only are you looking to looking for programs in the community that need to be started to help people find jobs, but uh, we need to create businesses and employment for them. So if we put up, you know, we find we have you know programs, these programs that are entrepreneurship programs, training programs to teach people how to be self-sufficient, and we maintain these programs where these people uh, can also come for a year of supportive services, we provide resource information as well as financial backing. Um, as Even as little as a thousand to five thousand dollars in loans will help a new startup, a new business get off the ground. And with these supportive services, for at least a year or two, these people, you know, these new employers or what I call diamonds in the rough, these new leaders and business owners can effectively utilize the supportive services in their communities, these programs um, that can help them go to regular training programs so they will understand, you know, how to run their businesses effectively, sustain their businesses, and become profitable. Uh, we also need to, you know, these are things that are important. So not just to, as, you know, Confucius says, teaching a person how to, you know, give a person a fish and they eat for the day, uh, teach them how to fish and they eat for the rest of their life. That concept works back then, but for right now I'm thinking, why not put the two together? Because if a person, you give a person food, if you don't give a person food and you begin to train them um, on how to, to make the food, to, to get the food, but they're hungry, their concentration is off. 
if you think about that. Person is thinking about their immediate needs or, you know, my immediate need right now is that I'm hungry. I'm actually not worried about working. I'm worried about today, right now, feeding myself, feeding my family. And these are the problems that we need to tackle. I am an entrepreneur and I believe in creating more uh, programs in the community, incubator programs. I mean, we have the Small Business Development Center, we have the SBA, and I've created a program called BBPN, which is Business to Business Professional Networking. I am an incubator um, by myself and I would love to grow this program and I believe that program, you know, we need to have all other entrepreneurship programs in the area. We do have programs in the area, but they focus solely on teaching people how to become nine to five. That's fine, but like I said, and I reiterate one more time, if there are no jobs available, then how will people find employment? You can reach me, Melissa Williams, the BBPN coach at Ms. Williams, M-I-Z-Z-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-Z at AOL.com. And you can also um, look at my television show at uh, www.b2bpn.com. You can also check out my book, Kids in Biz, www.kidsinbiz1.org. And that is a book uh, to teach children how to become entrepreneurs. I think that it starts this, this entrepreneurship and business ownership and teaching people that they can be more than just consumers starts at an early age. As soon as kids can read, they can start learning um, about entrepreneurship, as well as we need programs in our high schools. We need programs, after school programs that teach these, these skill sets and also continuing through adulthood. Thank you. Bye-bye.